On this week's weekly video fishing forecast, we have more on the glossy issue and our first weekly digital issue is out now. We show the gagster lore from inception to completion this week. We'll give one away. I'll have the upcoming events in my fishing reports, plus our correspondents check in from around the island. The Fishing News is sponsored by these fine partners. Today is Thursday, April 6, 2023, and the April Glossy Issue and Online Weekly Issue are available now. Get ready for early spring bluefish bite by checking out my article in this month's Glossy Issue. The first digital edition of the year is out now, and New England editor Dave Anderson has a great read on using small lures to target the first arriving stripers. Correspondent Mike Dean shares his knowledge of soft plastics that work best in our area, too. All this and more available now. If you're not a subscriber to the Fisherman Magazine, I encourage you to jump on board for 30 bucks. You get 12 glossy issues mailed to your house, plus full access to the website, plus all the weekly issues sent out in your inbox. Another great reason to subscribe is that you can be part of the Dreamboat Contest and win this 21-foot center console Steigercraft powered by a Yamaha and other great prizes for doing just what you love. The last two weeks, we showed you how the Gagster lore was designed and fabricated. We have one to give away this week. All you need is to send us your best photos, and we will pick a winner from the submitted pile and send you the lore itself in a bunker pattern. My email is mbroderick at thefisherman.com, and we will choose a winner by next video report. Now let's get to the upcoming events. The Spring Family Fishing Festival is April 15th from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. at Belmont Lake State Park. There should be plenty of fish around with the re recent trout stockings. Then on May 13th, Freeport Tuna Club will hold their annual fishing flea market. A mission is free. To get the details on these events, visit thefisherman.com slash events. Now here's what I'm hearing around the island along the central south shore. The King Cod out of Santa Mauritius spent most of the day on one of last week's trips searching. They ended up with a real nice hour of action plus a long shot of fish towards the end of the day that had everybody hooked up. The second trip of the week uh, saw a light crowd of 11 fishermen. They saw 20 chunky upper slot sized cod to go along with a mess of shorts. This trip also saw a few large red hake and some small keeper pollock in the mix. On the shallow drops, quite a few quality blackfish were released right before the season opened, which is a good sign for future trips. Out to the west end, the Super Hawk and Point Lookout, Captain Steve Kearney told us that they've been finding a variety of fish near and on the far wrecks. The 5 a.m. wreck run for cod and tog will now sail daily at 5 a.m. An extended wreck special for cod and pollock will depart at 3 a.m. Wednesday, April 12th. Capital Tackle and Freeport said that anglers have reported a pretty good cod bite along the inshore wrecks. Schooly bass have been caught and released in the Back Bay waters also. Over to the west, it seems that once again, Raritan Bay is providing a very good early season striper run. No Time Charters in Oceanside had a good outing on the local cod grounds as they connected with 30 cod and were able to cull 12 keepers last week. Captain Vinny of Karen and Charters in Howard Beach and his fares reported they had a blast with light tackle techniques on some overs and slots on rubber shads and fin-esque fish fishing deep inside Raritan Bay. 
Up on the western North Shore, I did hear rumors of blackfish chewing already. Remember, the warmer water will always be shallow this time of the year. The western part of the Sound in places like Whittle Neck and Manhattan Bay saw another week of good surf fishing for stripers with bass up to 28 pounds reported after dark. Centrally, school bass have been moving into the Huntington, Northport, and Mount Sinai areas. Small soft plastics are doing the job at the beginning of the dropping tide. I also got a report of a couple keeper flounder inside Setauk at Harbor as well. I would suggest trying a flounder and blackfish combo trip to get the most out of your time on the North Shore. Blackfish are big fans of sandworms as well, and you can use them for flounder also. News 12, meteorologist Rich Von Owen has the outlook for the weekend. Rich. Hey, thanks, Matt. Let's check that weekend forecast and see what we got going on. You can always check your favorite apps, websites, weather tools, whatever you got. This is a general heads up, general overview on the upcoming weekend. So we look at water temps. A lot of blue on here still, a lot of 40s, a little chilly water out there, but slowly warming things up. The weekend looks decent in the ocean and the sound. Overall, for some fishing, a general 2 to 4, 1 to 2 chop on the sound. There's a little bit of a northeast component here. I want to warn you on that. Sometimes that tends to uh, chop things up a little bit more than the models say. But right now, on paper, it looks okay. Again, Saturday, northeast breeze, maybe 5 to 15. Uh, a little break Saturday evening. That rain to the south uh, hopefully stays offshore enough and gets out of our way. A little break early Sunday morning, a little window there, and then more of a northeast to southeast late in the day. We keep our fingers crossed that the, the models hold on with a fairly calm weekend. High tide Saturday, north shore for the midday, south shore about 8, 9 a.m. High temp Saturday, mostly 40s, low 50s. Same thing for Sunday, so fairly seasonable. Just check the guru, a little different perspective there. It's your Saturday. You got, you got a little northeastern here. It doesn't look bad. I mean, in general, 2 to 4 and 2 to 3 out there. Same thing on Sunday, you know, a little northeastern there. A little concerned about that. Sometimes it gets a little choppier. Again, keep an eye on those local apps and, uh, you know, weather updates as we get towards the weekend. But overall, not too bad. Hopefully it works out. Have a great weekend. Catch them up. Matt, back to you. From Northport, we have the Cal Harbor Bait and Tackle Report. Hey, folks, it's great to see you again this week. You know, we're talking about flounder. We're talking about blackfish, striped bass, trout, smallmouth bass. This is the time if you're a freshwater guy or a girl, get out there while the water is still clear before it gets warm. He starts to algae over. Great way to take advantage. You know, we've got plenty of bait for that type of fishing. And if you're into the blackfish, we've got live crabs. We always float them so you get like the freshest bait available here at Cow Harbor. Uh, the striped bass, the striped bass fishing is really good. It's been a daytime bite. The dominant bait they're chasing many times is spearing. You know, they're looking around. There's plenty of spearing this year. A whole lot of spearing. You see them flip all over. When you get those sunny days, you know, you add it to the waters that we have locally. We're looking at like the mm, mid to high 40s. So we just a fraction of uh, a couple of degrees away from going into that 50 and really turning on these resident fish. I haven't seen any of the migrating fish yet. I think they're all just resident. They're waking up and the warm water is really helping out. You know, uh, our stock is, well, our shop is fully stocked. We've got all types of bait. We've got plenty of gear comes in every week. Check it out. Take advantage of your customer loyalty points. You get money for all the money that you spend here at Cal Harbor, as well as a great customer service and loyalty. And you know, you'll probably meet a few friends here. It's a great crowd that hangs out. We always hope to see you at the shop and I'd love to talk to you every week. Until next week, I bid you all peace and tight lines. With our fly and freshwater report, we have Paul McCain from River Bay Outfitters. Hello, Matt. Well, you know what? It is unbelievable. Yesterday was really a nice, nice warm day, but windy. I, I actually went down to one of the local bay spots to see if anybody's fishing, and no, nope, nobody yesterday. It was just a little too windy. Uh, but I'm looking forward to getting down there, and um, pretty soon it's going to happen. I'm understanding. I'm hearing more and more fishers starting to come into uh, to make a bay area. Uh, little Neck had a few fish. Um, some in back of Manhasset, stripers, you know. I, I also heard that guys driving along the parkway actually saw birds diving. Now, they could have been diving on big bait or they were just, uh, there might have been fish underneath. I don't know. Uh, but you see the birds, you're going to say, find the bait. And uh, now I'm starting to see more and more ospreys, which means the bigger bait like uh, bunkers and herring and all those are back in the back base. So it's good to see everything back. Good to see the Forsythia blooming <laughs> again. Uh, as far as freshwater goes, it's been really good at the Connect Quad. 
Uh, they're doing a fabulous job. Matt and his crew are doing a great job out there taking care of that park. Um, the fishing has been very, very good. Uh, I've been hearing like Caleb Smith was good. Uh, some of the local ponds are coming to life. And it's just got, it's getting better and better. Now, I will tell you just as, as, a, as a little tip, I'm going to be doing these little fly tips. One of the best little tools you could have in your, uh, in your bag is a little thermometer, stream thermometer. This is great because when, it, you know, you go out there and you measure the water uh, different times of day. And when that water hits about 50 to 60, you know, 50 to 65 is really good for stripers. Uh, that's what I'm going on. I'm going out there and testing the water. And, uh, you know, we've been fighting that it's still under 50, but soon, it's as soon as it warms up. And what I look for, I look for those days where it's sunny and low tide is at, at 12 o'clock. And then high tide would be around 5, 6 o'clock. And by the time that water comes in, it's going to warm up because that mud has been getting hot all day long. And that's where this thermometer comes in. You can find the water temperatures. You'll find the fish. Uh, same with fresh water. I use a th I use a stream thermometer in fresh water because fish are going to get lethargic below. Trout is really good fishing from 55 to about 65, 68 at the high. When it hits 70. I go bass and I don't go fish for trout. So get yourself one of these thermometers. It's a great little, this is your tip this week. It's a great little tool to keep in your surf bag and in your trout vest. So until next week, tie lines, everybody. Subscribe to the Fisherman Magazine today and compete in the Dream Boat Fishing Challenge. It's the Fisherman subscriber-only season-long region-wide multi-species fishing competition to win a Steigercraft and many more prizes. Subscribe, fish, win. Let's check in with Chris Landry. Thanks, Matt. Well, the word is out, the bite is hot. Today there are 50 plus boats in the fleet. Everyone's smashing bass, so be careful and work together out there. We saw Rockfish 2.0 out there. OG Felix, Captain Adrian, First Cast Mike, they were smashing cows. Uh, Carl Newman got a tagged bass today. Um, the first bass on the Rocksteady 2 happened in the best possible way. We tripled up with Carl Newman and Frankie Shane. Awesome way to break in the boat. We'll be out there all the time, so holler at us if you see us. Um, there's bait in Jamaica Bay in a couple of the marinas I was at. Finally seeing bait around the bay. Also, there's bait in the East River. And speaking of the East River, Beast River, Warm, Wormway and crew saved a man's life this weekend who had jumped in the river. They saw him, they uh, worked together, they pulled him out, they saved his life, so salute to them. And the crazy part is, is it's not the first time they've saved someone in the river. Uh, we've also saved people in the bay, so you gotta keep your head on a swivel and be, and be ready to act. All right, it's no joke out there. But uh, let's work together, uh, get on these fish, stay tight. All right, thank you, and back to you, Matt. Let's check in with David Rogers. Dave. Thank you, Matt. Hey, everyone. I'm out here in the beautiful Florida Keys. It's a little bit windy while I'm down here, so I'm doing some juvenile tarpon fishing out here in this canal. Hopefully, it'll calm down a little bit later. I'll be able to fish the bridges and see what I can find. But let's get to the report on what's going on in the Western Sound. So even though I'm out here in the Keys, I do have buddies that are still out there surf casting, throwing lures, throwing chunks, bunker chunks, and they're telling me it is hot. There are fish around, especially on the incoming tide. You want to be on the incoming tide, top of it, it's a good time to fish. I'm kind of stuck out here in the Keys, which it ain't a bad thing to be stuck out here, but it's a little bittersweet knowing that the striper fishing is so good on the Western Sound. All right, guys, until next time, stay groovy, and back to you, Matt. Let's check it with Max Finch from the Connecticut side of the Western Sound. Hey, everyone, Max here from Fisherman's World with another local fishing report. The freshwater's fishing well and the saltwater. We've seen stripers in slot and some over slot now coming, some, coming from some really tight areas and some local rivers, you know, all the way back up in back bays on the higher flood tides. There's alewives around, bluebacks, there's some peanut bunker. I've seen a lot in Nauk Harbor. Guys fishing all the way up to Wall Street, you know, paddle tails, finesse fish, small spooks. 
you can definitely up your offerings fishing you know these you know herring runs from you know greenwich all the way up to the housatonic guys fishing the hoosie at night are throwing sps cold snipers you know unweighted sluggos reeling them slow at night we've seen some really nice fish there's fish pouring out of the river so short beach this is a good time of year for you fly guys throwing the fly rod you know waiting the short beach sandbar or, or the autobahn side I haven't seen too many flounder yet. Uh, that should pick up, you know, a lot of guys don't have their boat in. But if you don't have your boat in yet, you can definitely fish from shore. You know, the Saugatuck River, Nog Harbor, and the Housatonic. Freshwater still fishing good, same old rivers. You know, Mill River, Mianus, Nog River got stocked, so it's been fishing really good. We have trout worms, we have night crawlers, mealworms, shiners, sandworms in stock, and uh, it's fishing season. It's time to get your boat ready, get in the water, have fun, and then all you freshwater guys, the Saugatuck Reservoir opens up this Saturday. So thanks and good luck. Captain Mike Sentry has the latest from Staten Island. Thanks, Tim and Matt Hopewell as well. Well, guys, Mike Sentry here from Anglers of Legend Sportfish, Boat Works, and Seafoods. Gotta say, striped bass is definitely picking up. Mid-March, we saw an influx of nice-sized bass coming in. And John Canosa, one of my good friends with the uh, Wave Runner, he's using a half-ounce to uh, one-ounce split tail white dropping it down to the bottom and working it pretty much like you were fishing for our freshwater trout just jigging it like a mouse tail that's being very su successful doing that on the other side of things bunker are in the bay not in really large numbers but decent amount the water's still a little bit on the cold side so top water is not happening anytime soon usually around 55 degrees and higher top water action explodes uh, another news with that said, uh, first week of April, we'll be up and running with the charter. We're going to run a little bigger boat this year, so stay tuned for that. And if you guys need any help with uh, boat works, maintenance, tips, or anything, feel free to message me, help anybody out. So, tight lines and God bless. Back to you, Matt. Remember to like our video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and tap on the bell to be notified when we post a new video on YouTube. Check out this video's description on YouTube for all the related links and index for specific reports. Please support our correspondents by visiting their websites and their social media pages. If you'd like to be a part of our weekly video fishing forecast, we are once again looking for social media savvy anglers for hyperlocal reporting from the New York metro and Long Island area, especially from the beach. So if you're a captain, tackle shop, or just an avid angler, contact the producer at tcslibayrat at gmail.com keep in mind you can send your photos to me at mbroderick at thefisherman.com for a possible feature in these reports as well looks like a good weekend and it will be fishable so get out there and give it a shot